Hi, and welcome back to the dark room. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, trying out something that I've just purchased. This is uh, Ilford's new uh, multi-grade RC paper. Uh, rumor has it that this paper uh, has a, a much higher contrast, so you'll get much deeper blacks with them. Um, and also, we're potentially able to tone with these. I saw some work with uh, Lena Bessanova, where she showed that uh, you could actually tone using selenium or sepia toner on RC paper. I tried using the multi-grade 4 and I just can't seem to get anything from it and um, will tell you you can't get anything from this sort of uh, from, from those papers. Toning really helps on fiber prints but you can't really see anything uh, on uh, on RC prints. Uh, in fact I had my selenium at like 1 in 10 and I saw no difference after 20 minutes. Um, so I may even do a print using the, uh, the I'll use the same settings that I uh, for uh, multigrade five and multigrade four, and uh, we'll see what the differences are. I must confess I have already had a look at other prints between and, and compared the two. Um, I had a nice image from London, some black cabs. Um, what you can see from that comparison is that the uh, blacks in the MG5, they are a lot darker. I also tried to match the two prints um, as best as I could uh, to see whether or to see what the differences were um, by taking into account uh, the different paper properties. I wanted to see if I could get an image that was similar for both multigrade 4 and multigrade 5. In this instance, I'm going to have a look at MG5 make dial in my settings for a, what I think is a good print on MG5 with my new image um, and then I'm going to do exactly the same um, settings for MG4 and we'll just have a look at how different they really are. Um, let's crack on. So I'm not sure you can really see my image on the baseboard at the moment. Um, I have already done a test strip um, for these I did them at three second increments um, at f11 on my particular enlarger and what I saw was that the uh, best settings were around the 16 to 20 seconds. Um, so what I'm doing in this instance is I'm, I'm once again just following Ilford's uh, multi-grade split toning method where I then I find the best time at uh, grade 2 and then I half the time and then I'll do half of the time at grade 0 and half the time at grade five. Works out to roughly eight seconds for um, for each timing, so that's around 16 seconds in total. Not anticipating that we'll need to really change these settings too much, um, but what I really want to do is have a look at what the difference is between uh, this image on multi-grade five, which should be quite nice and contrasty, um, and then what it looks like on multi-grade four. So let's start with the multi-grade five. I will turn the enlarger off and we'll set the dial back to F11. And I'll move the safety there just in case. And on. Now, rumor, well, my conversation with a few people earlier on today um, was that actually. Ilford have stopped making multi-grade 4 uh, and so they're just dwindling down the stocks that they have and they're going to be replacing it with multi-grade 5. So I think it's quite important that really people know what the differences are between the different stocks and, um, and how that's going to affect their printing. Obviously if you're new to printing it's not going to make much of a difference. If you're old to printing you probably know what you want. If you're like me and you've only really got into printing the last couple of years and you've just started to set yourself up on one particular stock, it might be worth just having a quick play around with a different stock um, just to see what you get. Um, now, I only ever, I've only ever really used Ilford or Kentmere papers, um, so I can't comment on other stocks. I'd be interested in trying different papers. We'll see what, see what comes up. Um, I have used fiber. I tend not to use fiber mostly for its expense. Um, a box of nine and a half by 12 inches um, Ilford multi-grade RC paper sets you back about 35 pounds. Um, the equivalent in, uh, it's almost double that for the equivalent in um, uh, in fiber. In fact, it may even be a bit more than that, maybe around 80 pounds, I can't, I can't remember. Um, I do have some fiber, it's expired fiber paper. 
doesn't seem to be that damaged in the expression. It seems to still work really nicely. Um, but I don't really use it that often because I'm trying not to waste it. Um, I'm saving it for those prints that I really want to be on fibre and then, uh, yeah, just so that they're top quality. Anyway, so we have, we'll remove the safety, and we have our paper in, uh, grade zero, eight seconds. I'm just going to use this to just waft and make sure there's no dust. Now I had already set up the uh, enlarger and the grain finder, so it should all be in focus. So at grade zero. Now we'll put grade five in. And then, as I normally do, we're going to create a little border around it. <coughs> so to do this, you cut your window ever so slightly smaller than, oh, so your fill-in ever so slightly smaller than the window. Um, and then I weigh it down with these metal strips. I'll take out my negative and I blast some light on for one, two, three, four, about that. Put that back for the next print. Let me move all this out of the way. Right. And then we'll put the print in. So I develop, I'm still developing this for a minute. Um, now this has been, this is developer that has been out for half a day. I was doing some printing earlier for another image. Um, it's taking a little while to get to its DMAX, so we're almost now, uh, almost the minute in, 45 minutes, and we're pretty much at where I would suggest it should be. We're a few seconds away, and now I'm just going to transfer it to the stop and the fix. So we'll put it in the stop just for a few seconds, just so that it can. Uh, development. Don't need very long in that. And now we'll move it across into the fix. So this is the image. Uh, it's from my trip to uh, trip to France. Um, I'm, I went to the Montmartre, 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 Montmartre Cemetery. Um, had a ooh, had a bit of a, a walk around. It's quite a fascinating place to have a look. Actually, I, I highly recommend uh, going and going and having a look. Um, and we saw this black cat or le chat noir uh, sting on the gravestones and on the uh, on the tombs. Um, and I thought, yeah, I'll take a picture of that. I think this was taken with uh, HP5 and uh, using my Zeiss Icon Netta. Um, so that's why it's in the square format. Um, yeah. And so this is what it looks like on multi-grade 5 with a total of 16 seconds, 8 seconds, grade 0, 8 seconds, grade 5. So now that we've had a look at what it looks like under the multi-grade 5, which is the new paper, let's have a look and see, uh, using the same settings, what the image looks like uh, on multi-grade 4. I'll get my uh, multi-grade 4 out. Uh, both of these finishes are pearl. Um, I I prefer the pearl finish. Um, glossy gives you some nice dark blacks, but um, I just don't like the gloss so much. Um, but I'm also not a huge fan of the of matte either. So, um, whilst I 
I don't mind gloss as much as I mind matte. Uh, this, the pearl, gives you a, a happy medium. It's a happy in-between. Um, right, move that to there. And once again, as I said before, I like to make sure everything is lined up as if these are going to be my final images. Every image has the potential to be the final image. Oh, it doesn't really matter if a little bit spills over, but you know. And I also like to I'll start with the same order. So we'll go with zero, then five, then obviously the window. Grab my board. Let's create zero. Time for grade five. It doesn't really matter which order you do it in. You can do five, zero, zero, five. I tend to try to remember to start from my grade zero. I don't know why. this border. Take the filter out, take the negative carrier out and we'll blast it for a few seconds. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. This goes in for the, a minute. And let's take a look. So the five is very darker. It is much more contrasty than the uh, than the multi-grade four. Um, personally, I prefer the multi-grade five sort of look. Um, I quite like a high contrast image. Uh, however, this isn't too bad. Um, I quite I prefer the fact that the cat is much darker in this image, um, but you can make out a bit more of the uh, of the fur and some of the highlights on the fur in this particular black cat. Uh, it's in this particular image. Um, yeah, I mean these are personal preferences. These are obviously personal choices, and we decide how we want each image to look. Um, but I I think I prefer the multi grade five Ilford's new paper. I'm going to print up another uh, another version of this and then I will probably tone one of them with selenium toner as well and we'll see what that looks like. That's it for now, just a short uh, session in the darkroom for me today. I had a longer session um, earlier on where I had a live session with uh, a few other photographers, uh, John, Thomas uh, and Dan. Um, I'll leave a link to their Twitters in the description below. Uh, you should check them out. They've, uh, they have some uh, awesome images, uh, they're really nice guys, and uh, John does a YouTube release uh, twice a week, once on a Thursday and once on a Sunday, uh, called Dark Shed Live, where they, where he um, works in his dark room, and you can ask him questions while you're doing it, and he'll take you through things, um, and he, yeah, he's just sort of showing his process. Um, I think it's a really great thing to be involved in, and so uh, check him out as well. Uh, until then, uh, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, uh, click like. If you uh, didn't, I guess don't say anything. <laughs> if you want to see more, click subscribe. And I guess click the bell if you want to see more and you want to be notified as to when I release some more of these. Uh, I think what I might do is print a few different images up and then have a look at how the MG5 tones. Uh, so we can really uh, compare the differences between untoned and a toned RC print. Uh, one of the great things about having an RC paper that can actually tone well is means that I don't have to use uh, fiber paper if I don't particularly want to. Um, as I said previously, um, I'm as much as I like a double weighted fiber paper, um, they're expensive and so this sort of paper, like an MG5 on RC which can be toned, could really hit an area in the market which I think uh, is severely lacking which is uh, yeah, a good RC paper that can be used for uh, for for exhibition prints. Um, so until then, 
goodbye for now.